Congratulations, class of 2016. We did it! That is for you, my friend, if you're graduating high school, if you're graduating middle school, if you're graduating intermediate, if you're graduating college or university, it doesn't matter. So congrats to you if you're graduating this year. So, round of applause. But anyways, for today's video, guys, I decided to do a graduation video because last year, I uploaded a graduation DIY party and you guys completely fell in love with it. However though, I gotta apologize because that lighting was just horrendous and terrible. I'm still new at this, but that video, that was like my first time that I did a video with light. So I, I was kind of like, what the heck am I doing? I don't even know, but it, to me at that time, it seemed like you're doing great. That looks fantastic. When the video looks like crap, it look, it look but anyways, today I decided to do another one because you guys loved it so much and I did it with better lighting. Thank God. I really like how it turned out because I kind of like to turn things that are not expensive to look very expensive, if you know what I mean. So yeah guys, hopefully you guys like this video and without any further ado, let's get started, shall we? Alrighty then, so to make these table center pieces, all you really need is a piece of black cardboard. Now the first thing that I'm doing is just tracing the 2016 numbers into the cardboard. And if you guys are wondering where I got the numbers from, I did them in a Microsoft Word document. I just typed in the numbers 2016 and I just made them super big. But anyways, once you're done tracing the numbers, you'll cut them with an exacto knife and just be careful, do not cut your finger off like I almost dead so <laughs> just be careful with that then i'm going to spray them with some spray glitter because it will give it a little bit more of a magical feeling i'm just kidding i totally just went with glitter because i just love glitter so much so if anything that i can put glitter i will put glitter into then you are going to take a hot glue gun and glue them like so so i'm gonna glue the number two with zero and i'm gonna glue the number one with the six so once I'm done with my numbers, then I'm gonna take some clear bases and then I'll just add a little bit of some sparkly ribbon and it will go all the way to the bottom. So once the numbers are dry and you have your clear bases set to go, then all you have to do is just put the numbers into the bases and that's pretty much it guys. And then for the little one, all you really need is another piece of black cardboard and basically you are gonna draw a square and my square was seven inches by seven inches and you're also gonna draw a circle and please don't judge me because I am super bad at drawing stuff. So once you have your two shapes, you are just gonna cut them with an exacto knife. So here I have a small brown clear base. So basically on this little jar, it was supposed to be candy, but since I didn't have time to go to the store, I just decided to put some water and a rose, but you can always do candy or the rose. It's up to you. And then you are just gonna finish the little hat by putting some of the sparkly ribbon that we put into the clear bases. So once you do that, you are just gonna glue the circle on top of it and then that's it guys. Then you are ready to put everything on your little table. And I'm also gonna put this 2016 kind of centerpiece that I found at the dollar store. It's like I live pretty much at the dollar store. <laughs> That's just how it is. But anyways, you're gonna put everything at your table and then there you go. You have like the perfect centerpiece for your class of 2016. <laughs>
Okay, so now we're gonna move into the decor of the party. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you is how to do this backdrop that I did with table covers. You are going to need six table covers in total three white and three black. And you're also going to need a hole puncher. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna open one of the table covers and you are just gonna open it vertically. Do not open it the whole way. Just open it vertically how it comes. So I'm only going to hole punch the top of the fabric. And with that being hole punch, we should get a lot of holes on top and that's what we want. And to make sure that those little holes won't rip like super easily because we are going to put ribbon, just use some hole reinforcements and you can get these anywhere like at Target or Walmart. Just put them in the front and also put them in the back so we can make sure that those holes won't rip. And for the last thing that you need to do is just put the ribbon and then in the end you should end up something like this and then you are ready to put it where you're gonna have your party. So for me it's in the wall that that I have right here. Now I'm gonna take these graduation strings. I don't know what they're called, so I'm just gonna call them like that. So I'm just gonna put them where the white area is. And I thought that these were like super cute and I got these at the dollar store. So once you do that, then we are going to take more table covers. I feel like the more table covers that we have here, the better. So basically you are gonna take your table cover and you are gonna open it vertically, leave it like that, and then you are just gonna hang it on the ceiling. Then I'm gonna do kind of like this little curve. And then once you have like a nice curve, then we are going to pin it. And then we are gonna take another table cover and we are gonna do the same thing to the other side. And then you're gonna repeat the same process for the other two. So in total, I had three. I had two black ones and in the middle I had a white one. And then to top it off, I'm just gonna put some silver stars. So hopefully I gave you some ideas on what you can do for your graduation party and once again, congrats if you're graduating this year. Okay, so that was it guys. So hopefully you guys liked this video and if you guys did, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe down below and also comment down below when are you graduating or if you already graduated, comment down below how was it? Did you faint? Because that did not happen to me. Not at all. But anyways, thank you guys so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>